When Frank Reardon first uploaded his sundog photo to theweathernetwork.com, he never imagined it would one day be featured on a Canada Post stamp. Iqaluit, Nunavut. Located on Frobisher Bay, it remains frozen from about November to June. That doesn't stop Frank Reardon from trekking out with his camera just about every single day. Not much stops Frank. A longtime sufferer of glaucoma, his left eye had to be removed in 2014. His father, a rock, threw his recovery, and as soon as he was able, he got back out with his camera. I don't like photos just to be sitting and collecting dust because I want people to see them. As fast as the wind changes, Frank posts his unique perspective online. I upload them to the, the internet and to the weather network net so everyone can see the, the beauty of what I see and how I see the world. One day, Frank spotted a rare weather phenomenon known as a sundog just outside his home. The photo was viewed thousands of times on theweathernetwork.com and even caught the eyes of a Canadian stamp designer. We found that to be just the, uh, the most impressive, generally. The, um, having it kind of set in clearly a very remote part of the country. So, you know, there's a hint of that as, as part of the foreground. Frank's mother is an avid stamp collector. He was overjoyed to hear his photo would be one of five in a series based on Canadian weather. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster for me because I, I just take photos because I love it. I never expect any, uh, you know, anybody to really take appreciation of it, not to the point of having it on a stamp. And with my mother also was collecting stamps for years, I always knew the importance of it. And when I told them that I having a photo on a stamp, they were thrilled. And then I just realized, yeah, this is a big thing. It's not just having a picture in a museum. It's like actually on a stamp where millions of people will see it.